the Masinde Muliro University has appointed a chancellor, and the chancellor has been appointed, is known as Peter Mudoka Wanyaga, and he comes in to take over the mantle of leadership at Masinde Muliro University, which did host its graduation today. And let's just listen in on his speech. As per the University's Act 2012, Section 38.1, the President of the Republic of Kenya, His Excellency Honorable Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta, appointed Dr. Peter Wanyaga Muthoka, DML, EBS, MBS, FKIB, FKIM, as Chancellor of Masindem Liro University of Science and Technology via Special Kenya Gazette Notice Number 185 of Thursday, 14th December 2017. Round of applause for our vice chancellor. After reading the citation, now I will kindly request, with all due respect, that we identify Dr. Peter Wanyaga Mudoka, who we are informed is uh, with us today on this dais. Well, indeed, congratulations to Dr. Peter Wanyaga Mudoka, who is formerly the chairman of Kenya Commercial Bank. Well, let's move on to some more news. And Toyota Kenya has today unveiled the fuel-efficient turbocharged GD engine for its Hilux and Fortuna models. The GD engine will boost fuel efficiency by up to 15% and is part of the automaker's strategy to expand its footprint within the competitive SUV and commercial vehicle market. The new GD engine has a fuel consumption of 14 kilometers per liter compared to its predecessor, the KD engine, whose full consumption was set as 12 kilometers per liter. According to Toyota Kenya Managing Director Arvinda Real, the new engine is also more compact and lighter, enabling both corporate and commercial users to ferry more goods without having to sacrifice of the power of the engine. We are introducing the new engine on the Hilux and the Fortuna. And the benefits of these is it's got better fuel efficiency, better torque, more power. And the GD engine on the Hilux and the Fortuna is available in 2.4 litres uh, and 2.8 litre. It's got more power. Uh, the suspension is very good. It doesn't feel uh, very bumpy. You can expect in a not too distant future um, the introduction of a hybrid engine, for example. Uh, because that's gaining traction worldwide uh, and we believe in keeping up with uh, the, the, the worldwide trends. With the advancement of technology, the youth are being encouraged to embrace online work and not solely depend on the conventional modes of income generation. In Yeri County, the Ajira Digital Training Program for the Youth has kicked off. Young men and women in Nyeri County have converged for the training that will equip them with skills to become better at engaging in online work. The facilitators of the Ajira Training Program have lamented that the youth are wasting away having lacked job opportunities, but it is a new done in online work. Online work becomes one of the options that can make people get employment and most people do not understand what it entails so we are creating an awareness in this county ensuring that each and every young people in this county is able to venture into this. Many youths can be able to secure employment and uh, they can self-employ themselves through participating in online work that is usually posted through the internet and uh, mostly we have seen that uh, there are many opportunities over the internet that the youths can take advantage of. And I choose every corner of Kabaru to be a starting point so that then they'll go back to Kabaru and teach others how they are going to, to, to get money. Interesting developments there in Nyeri County. We want to take a quick commercial break, but uh, just to remind you that uh, we will 